Hey, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, okay, so I'm back with this video to basically um, see what spirit has for me to say. Because, you know, as I told y'all before, that I, you know, I just had a funeral for my dad. And it's like a recovering time, but I don't want to... Um, like, like, Spirit is giving me time to recover, but at the same time, I am so urged and nudged to bring out messages, okay? Um, not so much as necessarily... He hasn't so much as necessarily given me a specific message to give. Just, you know, just, you know, to be, I guess be, 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 um, I want to say stay on your toes. You know, or like stay vigilant. Um, um, yeah, to just you know, kind of stay vigilant in what it, whatever it is that you're doing. Um, all I could, all I can pretty much think about is the you know the funeral and the service. You know, which all of my family was there. I really, I didn't realize I had so many family members or so many people that knew who my father was or, you know, it was, you know, it was pretty much all about my dad. What I appreciated most was not feeling like an an uh, outsider or eyeball, even though you know the enemy was in the building trying to um, heighten that type of energy. Um, and I noticed, you know, I noticed when the enemy's in the room all the time. Um. But I didn't feel out of place. Um, I have siblings. And we pretty much, we know who each other, who we are, you know, as siblings. And we also know for whatever, and it's our reason, because, you know, we don't see each other every single day. And we didn't grow up in the same home. Um, but we know that that's my sister, you know, that's my brother, um, oh, I had a vision yesterday, and I guess this has happened in another, you know, a, a past life that we had to be somewhere, me and my siblings, and I seen one of my siblings but the the main thing about it was our dad. Our dad had to come. He had something in his hands, and he was like, "Yeah, this hurts, but you know, whatever." And I'm like, "Daddy, you know, I'm like, Daddy." In in this vision, I'm like, "Dad, you know, Daddy." Like, what are you doing? Um. And it was his going home service, and we put him in this like shuttle, this space shuttle. And we sent him up. He was put in like this space shuttle shaped like a casket. And we sent him up. Um, and we had to watch him ascend, you know, basically. Um, it was weird. <laughs> that was, it was a weird... It was a weird vision, like it was in, but 
you know, I, I mentioned it to my sister, and she was like, oh, yeah, we we did it before. We did it at another time. It was another time we did this same thing while we were, you know, watching our dad ascend into the heavens, into the cosmos, you know, into the universe. Um, so... You know, that was, that was, I mean, yeah, it's kind of, like, it's kind of is what it is, you know, when it, well, it ain't is what it is, it's what it's supposed to be, and the most high literally let me see that, you know, detail for detail, and I was grateful, because I didn't feel like an eyeball, you know, growing up, you know, I grew up in a house where, you know, my mother's side of the family did not take, I didn't feel the same energy from my mother's side of the family from when I was with my sisters and my brothers and my dad's side of the family, okay? I felt more on my dad's side than my mother's side. But then here's obvious, um, here's an obvious, an obvious tick. The fact that everybody on my mother's side had the same last name, except for me. I was the only one, the eyeball. Like, I was, it was the obvious, you know, I was the eyeball. Everybody on that side of the family had the same last name, except for me. Okay, so, it was like, wow, like. You know, but I didn't I didn't realize all that until like I got older. I never really had I never grasped that same energy from my mother's side, you know, that I would grasp from my father's side immediate. And then love there was no love on my mother's side, like, but on my daddy's side, it was a lot of love, a lot of love, and I appreciated it, like, I know, and it, this is one of the things that I know existed, I just didn't experience it on that side of the family, and I was experiencing it on this side of the family, almost kind of wondering, like, is it real, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, because I grew up in this household of no love, you know what I mean? So there was a confusion. It was just something I had to work on. You know, it's, it's, you know, this may be the message, you know, that when forward movement, when you're looking at going forward in life, period, things begin to change. You know, you begin to see things, you know, no matter the circumstance, you begin to see things the way they're meant to be. You're, you, you're, you're put in places that you were really meant to be in, if that makes sense. Um... There was a, there was a, a situation where I, at a, at a, at a, at a moment, I felt like I couldn't be myself. And because I was exuding the energy that I can't, I, you know, I, I felt, okay, I felt as if I can be myself. But I didn't feel the acceptance of me, of who I am, if that makes sense. I didn't, if, I didn't feel the acceptance of who I am. I felt resistance. If anybody could tell me what that means, please let me know. Because I don't, I don't, I, I don't want to be, I'm not confused. I don't want to be confused. Um... Um, 
but you know I felt you know and like I said it may have been projection it may have been the enemy projecting or you know something trying to make me uncomfortable in my own around my own family you know, these are people I barely ever got to see or I met probably once or twice um, just I was thinking that, you know <laughs> My dad named me, he named me, my dad name is Ronald, he named me Rhonda, you know, and he gave me his last name. Um, he gave me his name, which was a blessing um eleven thirty three on the timer i'm a in it and and it's and it's good because like i said there was a lot of love in that room although the enemy was trying his best to turn the tables okay and I mean it's something that I'm kind of used to now and so of course I've personally built up my own safeguard one two three four on the clock all these signs and synchronicities you know is telling me I'm still going in the right I'm still on the right track still moving at the right in the right direction you know, all these signs of synchronicity is what that tells me. Um, so I'm grateful. One, two, three, four on the timer. Like, it just don't quit. You know, because at this time, although my father has passed away, I'm moving forward in life. I'm moving forward. And no one is going to turn me otherwise and I think that's just the whole point of you know even after loss even after grieving even after going through hardships you can still move forward okay moving forward I think that's the whole point. So, I'm going to go ahead. 144. It's 1344 on the clock, but I know it's 134. I mean, 144. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, and it's 1344 on the timer. The signs and synchronicities are crazy. Like they just keep coming and coming and coming. True, child. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and um, end this video, and I just wanted y'all to know that yeah, moving forward is just what is needs to be done, said and done, and is you know. Um, I'm moving forward. That's the name of it. Moving forward. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video. And I'll just talk to y'all later. See ya later. Bye-bye. Peace.